What's up guys and welcome back to some more House Flipper. Now in the first episode we focused on the kitchen and the dining room and in this episode we're going to be focusing on upstairs. So let's head on up there. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future episode. And if you missed the first episode, click on the card at the top of the video now. Go back and watch that one so you can catch up. Watch this one and then subscribe and then that way you won't miss any more. So, this is the upstairs. We've got a really nice open area. And we've got two balconies. A little one and a big one. Which are quite nice. But, yeah. So, now I have to plan exactly what I want to do. So, looking at the space. I don't really know what we're going to use this bit for. I've not really worked that out yet. It's a bit awkward, that one. But I'm thinking, put a nice bathroom area here. Because this would make off a nice little square area. And then maybe two bedrooms, one with its own little balcony, the other one there. And then maybe if we can do some en suites, maybe turn that into the en suite for this one and then whack an en suite for that one as well. So let's get started. We're going to need some walls. So we've got the walls. Let's uh, do this bit first. So that's looking like quite a nice little area now. I just, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this area or that one. But we've got most of this down. It looks good. So I suppose now we need to work out what we're doing with all the stuff we're putting down and colours and everything. So let's focus on this on the suite. So that's all the tiling done, which it looks a little bit like a prison cell at the moment, but it will look better once we put all the different stuff in. So let's get rid of those, sell those, and now we can get to the plumbing. So let's go to installations. And the first thing that I want to do, really, is put bathtub plumbing in. Now, this is what I mean by how awkward it is. Because you see how small that bathtub is that it gives you the little blueprint of for putting the plumbing in. But I think if I put it about there, I think it's normally about there. If we just quickly unscrew all of that. Then we could go into bathroom. And if we go down to the bottom of well, I've got it set to price ascending, so obviously the most expensive items. And if you go to something like that where it's really big, and let's just quickly... I don't really know which one to choose, to be honest. Let's go for grey. And can we have anything nice on here? We could have marble. Marble might look quite nice. I think marble could work. Let's put in marble. Marble should work quite nicely. But as you can see, that is a much bigger blueprint for the bathtub than what I just had using that plumbing system. That's why, as you can see, I've got it lined up perfectly with the wall because I've put in enough times now that I know exactly where to put it. So that's why it can fit in quite nicely there. So let's get that assembled. For assembling, I always switch to mouse because it's just quicker and easier than using an Xbox controller to assemble. So that's why I can just quickly nip through all of this. And I've put these baths in plenty of times on this game. So I know exactly how to do it all. And there we go. We've got a nice little bathtub there. I know it's got a bit of a gap there. I probably could have made it a bit more central. But I think that looks alright. I think that looks quite nice that. The marble actually matches the walls quite well. So now we've got our main components in. We've got our sink, our toilet, our bath. It's a shame that I couldn't move that doorway over just slightly more because then I could put a shower in as well. But it's fine. We could put some cupboards along there. I don't really know what cupboards they have for the bathrooms, but that should work quite well, that. So, up next, we've got our lighting. That's probably the next thing that you really should focus on because quite often you end up forgetting about the lighting. So I'm going to use these Halogen Lamp Mini. I quite like them. They, they make the ceiling match the room a bit when you use these greys. But the reason I hate them is because of trying to line them up in the centre of the room so you can put them out properly. Like that is not quite central. So we're just going to grab that and maybe about there. Nope, that's still... Not central. I'm, I'm trying to base it on the window, which I shouldn't be doing because the window isn't central. Does that look about set center? Yeah, I think that one works. So now we've got 
that to go off of. We know we can come across slightly and just sort of try and work out the halfway point between them, I suppose. I mean, uh, it kind of works. We'll do that. And I think that one about there. Yeah, that works. And then we want to come along there. And about there. And I'd say probably about there. I think that'll work. So let's come stand over here. This one's quite awkward to do because I've got the sink in my way blocking me. But yeah, I thought that was going to be way too off. That was just terrible placement. Let's grab that and move it over a bit. Is that... No, I went one too far. Of course I did. Nope. For some reason, it just it never looks lined up to me. That's got to be lined up. It's just my eyes messing with me. It's fine. I did have it right the first time. So, if we come across there... And, of course, one short again. And I think I was one high as well. Or maybe two. That's about right. I don't know if that's my eyes or not, but it's not right still. That's got to be right. I'm going for that. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Who's going to know? Honestly. No one really cares. Now, these ones are awkward as well. We're just going to whack them in quickly, roughly, where they should be. And then we can go check them, because I'm going to have to stand on top of the bath to do that. As you can see, doing that. And that's in line there. And I think that one's in line there. And that one is as well. So now we've got our nice lights in the ceiling. If we go back to installations. And we can put in a nice little light switch. Um, if I'm opening the door. I probably want the door to open left. So let's put the light switch on the right hand side. About there. And if we turn that on. You can see the ceiling goes really nice and grey. And that is a very well lit room. It looks nice. It's pretty. So that's all good. Let's put in... Nope, I need the tail radiator plumbing system first. If we put that next to the bath. And then we can put in our nice tail radiator. We can do that. And I really should turn them lights off because that is blinding. That is way too bright. Let's do that. As you can see, I've put these in loads of times as well. That's why I know where everything is to do. So we've got... Oh, no, we haven't got most of it done. We still need to do doors. And I'm thinking, let's put some blinds in rather than curtains. Because I've never liked curtains in bathrooms. I've never thought that it's right. Because obviously the steam and everything can get in them. And it can make them go horrible. And yeah. It's just easier to have blinds. So we're just going to put these in quickly. That lines up nicely there. The colour kind of matches as well. That's pretty nice. And let's put a door on it as well. Don't want everyone being able to see everyone else's shit. So let's do that. And I need it to go that way. And I'm going to have to use the mouse to get that lined up right. And if I come to there. I think it's one. I always get confused when placing these. Maybe if I place it from the other side. It's just very awkward to see sometimes. I think that should be about right there. So if we do that. Check it against the wall. Yep that's all flush. That's all good. Yeah. There you go. So we've got pretty much our main installation done obviously there will be more decorative parts that i will put in like a mirror we'll put in some cupboards and things like that but let's move on let's do the bedroom so that's pretty much the bedroom done other than obviously the decoration parts and things like that maybe finding a place to put a tv in here just because some people like the tvs in their bedrooms but that's that one pretty much done so let's go outside and going to the other one. We've still got the bathroom to do there. And we've got to work out colours for in here. So finally. Um, so yeah, we've got the bathroom. But as I said before, I'll cut that out. And I'll also cut out putting in the decorations and everything. For the rooms and that. Just like finishing them off. 
I'll cut all that stuff out so you don't have to watch me put all that in, but obviously you'll get to see the finished product. Right, so now we need to work out what we're doing with the landing. Now, what I'm thinking is a very dark sort of look to it. So maybe a dark wood flooring, maybe some darkish walls, because then that way it's a complete contrast to the bedrooms. Because the bedroom is basically your private space. It's something that you don't share with anyone else in the house. Unless, of course, you're in a couple, then you share the bedroom. But, you know, you don't share your bedroom with your kids. Your kids don't share their bedroom with you. So when you walk into your bedroom, you want it to feel like your own private space. So if we make it contrast, then it should do that. Now, we're not going to do the balcony just yet, putting things out here, because I don't know what colour I'm going to do the outside of the house, and I kind of want to match it up to that. So when we get to the colour of the outside, that's when we'll do the balcony bit. So let's just shut that off for now, and let's get started on this bit. So let's take a little look round. So first of all, we changed all the walls, rebuilt, well, it was a nice open area, so we built all the walls, I should say. And if we go into here, this is the nice lilac -y lavender one where well, i've put a few things down got radio in here we've got an alarm clock you've got the curtains which is quite nice i've put a tv up on the wall as well because who doesn't like to lay in bed and watch tv so i actually moved that over to there and then moved the dressing table over to here which is quite nice i was thinking about putting a lamp down but i couldn't really find a lamp that i liked if i just show you quickly we can have a look at the lamps i'll we'll just go to lamp stand in they're a bit plain i mean that's probably the closest one that you can get to it i mean it matches the rug but it's not really that nice but do you know what we'll put it in if it will fit i don't think it will though because of the curtains it might fit on this side no that's too far on the edge it doesn't really look right never mind but yeah just imagine there's a lamp on there that looks roughly like that then we've got a nice plant in here give it a little bit of change up in colour and yeah we haven't put anything out on the balcony on this little one because you can't really put anything out here you can't put seats down out here you can't put plants out here it's just a little standing area tiny little one and then we've got our bathroom i put a gray rug down because you can't get bath mats in the game so just imagine that's a bath mat and i thought i put down a gray toilet seat cover but never mind ignore that we've got a mirror then we've got our shelving here with all the different bits on, toothbrush, soap, shampoo, hairdryer, things like that. We've got some hanging hooks there, which is quite nice. Towel radiator there. Pretty simple, not much in there, but it still looks quite nice. And then if we come round into this bedroom, the doors are a bit annoying, but that's fine. They open both ways, so it's all good. So in here we've got games consoles we've got some speakers and then we've got some nice surround sound as well with our speakers once again we've got alarm clock tv remote uh radio we've got a clock up on the wall which is quite nice kind of matches as well managed to get the right color and then we've got our other bathroom which is pretty much the same as the other one just a slightly different layout but same design on it and i just realized i do need to put in just quickly the ac installation we won't actually be installing them in this video because you've seen me install them before so we'll just put them down and it'll remind me to do it some other time so we've got that then we've got that in there it looks quite nice this room it's actually not a bad room i'm kind of thinking about putting some blue curtains up but if i change that at some other time then i'll put in a future video and then we've got our landing which the colors match quite well the floor matches the stairs which is good we've got our reading area painting on the wall laundry basket and a little bit of life over in the corner but yeah so that's everything that we've got done in this episode so i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to drop that like subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell that way you won't miss out on the next episode which we'll be doing downstairs here where we'll be trying to do a games room and the living room and maybe if i could find somewhere to fit it in a sauna as well but only if i could find somewhere to put it in so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.